Today we are talking about the Hansa, which is a film print emulation plugin. Basically consider this as a one-stop shop for all your film print, film grade, halation, and everything that you need to transform your digital image into a filmic looking image. And that is what we are about to do. But I'm only using Dehancer alone, nothing else. As you can see here, I actually have these two nodes but they are empty and there's nothing and they're just here for safety. And this is for those people who just want to come in and out, go inside the Hansa, get a quick look and get out. By the way, I've also made a few more videos that explain to you everything you need to know about the color management, um, film grain, film noise, and how these, uh, they, are, they come pre-balanced and the, color temperature that they are meant to be shot in, all those things, I've explained them in the video that I'm going to link below. So this is the quicker way. So now we are going into our effect and we are going to type Dehancer. So we're gonna take our Dehancer and put it on our node. As you can see, things are changing. I don't know who would be happy with um, <laughs> this look, but listen, at least we are starting somewhere. So as I mentioned, I'm going to only be using the Hansa, nothing else. It's not advisable by the Hansa, but we have to do it. This is almost like a review going through everything. So one thing that I'm going to do, this is due to uh, how something is pre-selected. So I'm going to kind of like take it off and I'm going to close everything so we can actually start from scratch and so i can also take you guys through everything so when you open the answer you would know your way around and i know when you open it for the first time it actually felt very overwhelming but trust me when you get used to it you'll see it's just a program like another and there's nothing complicated. So this is everything that the Hansa offer right now. You do have your inputs. This is where your inputs, your uh, color space so they can transform it. And the best thing about the Hansa, they also ask you to sometimes use different type of inputs and Cineon Lob Film is the one that you can use the correct way and because it's actually the, um, the film the color space that is meant to work with film print emulation but we're just going to skip that and pretend we don't know anything so now we are going to choose camera and then vendor i'm gonna go down and i'm going to choose sony and then camera and the sony that was a7s mark ii but it's not here so we're just gonna pick a7s mark um three and then the format i'm gonna go 650 so this is what the hansa tell is telling me this is the best way to take sony um s log to um rec 709 and as you can see this actually look clean and i can work with this so one thing that we need to do i'm actually gonna leave here i'm not gonna touch anything but one thing that i'm going to do this look like a very high key image but hey Let's work with that. As I said, I'm not going to touch anything else, just using the answer. So we're going to go to um, film compression. We are not going to need it that much, but when you enable it, as you can see, it kind of like take off all the highlights, which we're going to skip from now. The next thing that we're going to need is the expand. Basically, this is where you set the black point and the white point, meaning you can even take away some of your highlight if you need to so i'm going to enable that and i'm going to push the white point down almost like consider this as basically taking off your highlight and then you yeah, the black point i'm going to kind of like leave it here so this is the image that i am very happy with as you can see the house is actually doing a great job so i'm going to leave that when you come to print, this is where I'm going to pick a film print emulation that we are going to be working with. And some people go and choose film, but for me, 
I feel like that's not very effective. So I'm going to skip that and go to um, print. So here I'm going to pick the Kodak 2383 film print and then I'm going to do enable. As you can see, we do have this look that is very nice and there's a lot of yellow tone because of the, um, the color prints that we've choose. And that's actually good. One thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the color density and I'm going to boost it a little bit and I'm going to park it here. So another thing that I'm going to do now that we've seen how much um, the print is affecting our image, I'm going to come back to the expand and then push the um, black point and I'm going to leave it there. So this is um, what we have as you can see this is before and this is after before and after this is looking very hot in a sense of very um overexposed especially here so as i say i do have primary and a self node i'm actually going to try and only use the hand bar. I'm going to break my own rule and I'm going to come in, come just push the offset just a little bit. But I'm also going to go to my parade, go to waveform and just um, get the luminance value. And I'm just going to just push it down and I'm going to kind of like kill the highlight. So this is what we are getting. But as you can see, everything else at the background seems to be fine, but we the, the shadow is uh, almost crushed. So I'm going to go back into the answer, go to expand, go to the black points. What do we do? We have to kind of push it back. And as you can see, this is way better. Uh, this is just using the Hansa and you've seen the improvement that we have made. We went from that to this and obviously, like I said, this is almost like a one-stop shop for everything that you need. So I'm going to park the image here and I'm going to leave it there. So now we've passed print. So another thing that I'm going to go to color head. So consider color head as the... Um, print light in DaVinci Resolve. What they do, let's say there's a, there's a color hue that's dominating in your image, you can go here and change it. So I'm going to enable it and then I'm going to press gang. When you press gang, it means these three, they are going to move at the same time. So what we're going to do, we're going to push, as you can see, this is too much and this is too much, but we kind of like need to find a balance with um, our eyes and see what works for us and for me that is actually what I prefer so that is before and after there's a small difference that I don't think you can see but I can see it and this is what we have this is a good look that you can kind of like use and it, the clip looks very good I'm happy with that so we've now go to halation before putting halation on this affects more of the highlighted part of our image and one thing that you need to focus on is almost at the edge if you check the edge you see this when i put it on so i'm going to activate it and it's not really doing much because there's not that much highlighted part in our image but that is what it does more. So that is before and after. It's adding a little bit, but that is it. Also bloom, again, pay attention to the edge of our frame and this part here. So if I enable it, that's before and after, before and after, before and after before and after so i'm actually going to enable it and then put the saturation down and then the detail down i don't want it to be too too much but i'm very happy with this i'm very happy with this so i'm also gonna leave that one and now vignette so the reason why i do like the answer because everything is actually put together in a way that it helps you to be uh, build your image from good better and best this is what i mean so now 
as you can see this area of my image is way um overexposed but i would love for people to just focus on her as the character so watch when i put on the vignette it kind of like helped to isolate everything and leave her kind of uh, looking better so if you see before and after there's a big change and honestly i am very 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 happy with this because it kind of like kill off all this other side of uh, exposed area that is taking attention away from her as she's the main focus or she is the center of focus so now i'm not even going to leave to touch my vignette and i'm going to move to film breathe you might not see a lot of this because we don't actually need it and you might not even see how effective it is in this image and then also film weave this is another thing that you also might not be able to see even though i put it on and no no or get with because we do not have a get and this is a digital image so we're actually going to leave it there one thing that i do like about the answer the monitoring option allow you to actually see what is clipping also allow you to see your false color so you can see all your IRE value which is good for monitoring your clip this is very very important especially when you want to see where your skin tone is and your shadow and your highlight and all that stuff and the next node which is the output and now the answer tells you now that you've played with the image are you happy with the output or no so let's say the impact of your output do you want it at zero percent do you want it at 45 percent do you want it at 65 percent but now i'm going to put it at 100 percent which is what i'm happy with another thing that the answer allow you to do so since i've actually done this fully with the answer they allow you to um export the lot the lookup table of everything that you have done so you can use it in, in with another clip especially when you shot it with the same camera so you can literally just export your lot and you'll be ready to go and then this other option here you can go back and check the profile so let's say they have updated it or they've added maybe a few a film or any other thing that they've added you'll be able to check that your license and check your profiles here so that is pretty much everything that the Hansa kind of gave us and as you can see I've actually pretty much built this look inside the Hansa. And now, let's say you're done and you're happy with this, you'll be able to close the Hansa and you can add maybe two more nodes, which I'm going to do. And one thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to put PL as a print light. And then this one, I'm going to do this spill, right? and i'm gonna go on this build this is very optional because i'm actually seeing some area of my image that have a little green spill like there so as you can see if i put red you know you're not even gonna like it because red is there but let's just try for the sake of the clip and if i put red as you can see it takes away all the red same as a blue takes away but now is the green that i'm targeting so that is before and that is after that is before and that is after and i'm actually happy with this because i did not want um those color um almost spill that was here with the green and then with our print light I'm actually going to just play with the image just a little bit to rebalance it. Again, this is very optional. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in the color and come back to print light hotkeys. I'm going to activate them and then go back to color. And I'm actually going to take the yellow. I'm just going to take the yellow. Um, take the yellow again as you can see that is before that's after that is before that is after again that is what we have built with our um 
the answer so it's very good to always check what works for you so guys again if you do like this I appreciate you that was just a quick the answer tutorial showing you everything from beginning to the end so I've also done two more videos that actually show you how you can do it professionally that explain all the basics so if you like this make sure you uh, subscribe and turn on that notification bell icon so you know me when I post a video like this see you when I upload